Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eunice here, where I am teaching you how to become a little bit more responsible with your things. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned because I have three tips that are probably just gonna shock you a little bit. So if this is something you're interested in to make you just feel a little bit more responsible, less stressed and more focused, this video might be for you. And if you think that any of these tips are for somebody please share this video with them because it might surprise you a lot of these things people do this very often tip number one is know where your keys go how many of you have lost your keys in the past day in the past week how often do you lose them where you're just running around asking somebody else like have you seen my keys have you seen my keys you're looking under your bed you're looking under papers you're looking in between the couches like where are they so do you know that the average person loses their things like pa important papers their keys or their cell phone up to nine times a day and the average person spends about 15 minutes looking for things and oftentimes these things get lost when you most need them when you're running late to work running late to pick up a kid um you need to make a phone call or you need these papers because that's where you're going and you need these papers so yes number one is find a place to put them that doesn't have to be any fancy you can get something on amazon i'm going to go ahead and share just a few things a few key holders that i like and it's gonna be so essential because as soon as you walk in the door, you just have to put, think, I have to put my keys where they go so that I will always find them. Okay, that way you don't put this responsibility or this stress on anybody else to look for your keys. This is your stuff, your things, and you need to be responsible for them, right? So get yourself a key holder, get yourself even a little basket or a little container where you can put important documents, your keys, and maybe even your cell phone. Don't just put it laying around somewhere else. So that's tip number one. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm on a little rampage here because this gets everybody. It wastes your time and it makes you stressed. So know where your things are, know where your keys, your phone are, less stress. Number two, tip number two. All righty, open your mail mm. oftentimes we get so much spam mail you know this could be emails too but emails is a whole different story we're talking about paper mail this stuff contains important information like personal information it contain it can contain sometimes your social security information uh your address anything like that so oftentimes you don't think that anybody can steal your information through you know throwing things in your trash can but for an identity theft this is golden stuff if they find your personal information in the trash can that is treasure for them they can easily steal your information and open new credit cards you know those credit cards that you get from the, those pre-approved credit cards that you get from your um loan institutions yes people can easily open those up and open a credit card under your name so be very cautious about that because you just never know how many thousands you can rack up under your name and that's going to be your responsibility oh so that's my tip shred your documents get like a shredder just shred them shred all these important documents that have your social security your bank statements um or anything with tax documents or even prior employment you know previous employment so get rid of those okay tip number three guys start a budget <sighs> man a budget for yourself for your family is very important in order for you to be feel responsible and succeed at your financial goals i know that a budget is scary it's scary for myself when you start with a budget you gotta sit down and really think what do i want to do in my life like what are my financial goals 
what are my monthly goals what are my annual goals what are my expenses um what are i guess your vacation goals you know that's part of uh, budgeting what are your college fund goals for your kids so really think about like what financial decisions can i make today that are going to just make me feel like i'm on top of things like you know do you need to gather all of your expenses do you need to gather all of your bills in one place do you need to start a college fund for your kids do you need to start saving for a trip start saving for christmas um this could be also like planned all ahead you know because oftentimes when we have unexpected bills when we have um i don't know just a feeling of like giving and you just can't it makes you feel stressed it makes you feel overwhelmed and you just wish that you had a better grip of your finances okay so really like when i said sit down with yourself and think about what your biggest questions are when it comes to your financial responsibilities it can be things like saving for a college fund saving for your retirement getting out of debt is a big one and like really sit down with yourself like in a planner you know look up how to get financially free on um, or debt free how to start a retirement how to start on a college fund there are things that like 10, 20 years from now you're like thinking about your kids future they're gonna start college you'll have that money there for them for the just in case <laughs> okay so i just thought of something while i was writing all of these questions down dave ramsey came up to my head because seriously you guys know dave ramsey he is a big uh financial guy retirement getting out of debt person <laughs> that's the best way i can explain him right now but he's awesome he gives you really great tips on how to get out of debt with the, his seven baby steps and how to do college fund how to do retirement how to save how to pay off your mortgage and all of that so it's like seven baby steps so that's literally what i was thinking of get out of debt start a savings college fund home getting paid off and retirement dave ramsey he is on to something i was writing these things down it's like it just makes sense it makes sense to do his baby steps for you to succeed guys so that's basically my three tips for you guys i do have a question for you so comment down below uh with your answer i have a question who opens your mail is it you or is it your significant other because some of these bills are not getting paid on time and again you can't blame the other person which that's something i'm actually working on for myself um, we're not all perfect here we're not meant to be that's another thing that i'm working on is a paper management system if you guys are interested make sure to subscribe comment down below if you enjoyed this video and again share it with somebody who might find this helpful before this video ends i have one last question for you what makes you feel responsible what do you do in your life today and every day that makes you the responsible person that you are now hmm that is a good question don't forget to subscribe anyways thanks so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye